Now, with these ones, these ones start getting a little bit harder. Some of them, these first ones are a bit easier. So x squared minus 2x. We take the derivative of that would be 2x minus 1. So the derivative of the function over the function is the derivative of that log function. Derivative of x cubed would be 3x squared over x cubed. And the x squared and x cubed cancels the 3x. This is where you start to use our log laws. Now this makes life a lot easier. If you try and use type the derivative of this over the function, then you can do that. But that would require you to do the product rule and then you're going to put it over that function. Using a log laws, we know when we had log and we had multiplication of two functions, we could take the log of one function plus the log of the other function. Which means we just need to derive this one now, because they're separated by the plus, we can just derive this function, so derivative of x plus 2 is 1 over the x plus 2. The x minus 1 derives to 1 over the x minus 1. That is much easier. You can do it by getting the derivative of that and using the product rule, but that's going to take you a long time and a lot more lines of working to end up with the same result in a, a much more complex form. Same thing with d. Again, because we're dividing, taking a log of dividing two functions, we can change it to subtraction. Again, rather than using the quotient rule and deriving that and then putting it all over that one, which will probably take your page of working to do, we can just simplify it using our log laws and put log of x minus 3 minus log of x plus 3, derive x, plus, x minus 3 is 1 over the function, and derivative of x plus 3 is 1 over the function. So really using our log laws, this is where they start to pay off and make life very easy. We can see the same thing with this with with e. So instead of using again using the product rule there, split them up. It's multiplication, so we become subtraction. And because we had the five up there, it comes down in front of the log. So we derive that function, which is two x over the function, and five times the derivative of that function, which is x squ x squared. Actually, it should be three x squared. So it should actually be a fifteen in front. So we should have a fifteen in front there so if you we can add that so oh, it's not working very well there but it's going to be over that function x cubed plus 7 so 15 x squared over x cubed plus 7 again make sure we do the manipulation to get it log of the function there minus the log of x cubed minus 9 and then derive derivative of the function over the function derivative of the function over the function saves you a lot of effort and working to make sure you learn to because you know your log laws.